When I walk into Dahlgren, there's a sense of, of quiet, of solace. There was a heartfelt beat, palpable, when you just walk through the doors. I spent many a weekend night, I think it was around 11 o'clock, for Father King's famous masses here. I remember um, being inspired to become a Jesuit in this very church. Some of the greatest moments in my life and some of the saddest moments in my life have been celebrated right here. It's sort of a magical place, I guess. Dahlgren is the heart for the campus. Our religious mission is central to what we do and Dahlgren reminds us of that. Dahlgren Chapel began with the gift of John and Elizabeth Dahlgren in 1893. And since that time, it has been the central worship space for our community on campus. A chapel this old and storied uh, needs improvements from time to time. Our partners in this reimagining of Dahlgren Chapel are the Rooney family, Francis and Kathleen Rooney, both uh, alumni of Georgetown. We've had the opportunity to uh, reconnect a bit with Georgetown and engage in the renovation, mm -hmm. which uh, for us is uh, an incredibly satisfying and enriching opportunity. When it was brought to us, I think we leapt at it because it spoke to us in a very special way. Dahlgren has uh, great memories for the both of us and uh, we couldn't resist. We've already started the work of the renovation. We've removed the stained glass window in the back of the chapel, the rose window where some of the first visible cracks appeared. I mean, the chapel is over 100 years old. You'll see on the walls of the, of the chapel some smaller and some larger cracks, which indicate the foundation is settling, and that's what we need to shore up. This chapel is at the heart of everything that we are. And to be able to secure the stability of this chapel ensures we have a foundation on which we can explore the future. What a terrific project to be involved in. It's going to bring people together for another at least 100 years or, or longer. People use this chapel all the time. During the work week, we have a noon mass, and then on uh, any given Sunday, we have as many as seven masses. And then on a Saturday, we, there are usually uh, one, two, or three weddings here. We hope that this chapel will continue to focus on the Jesuit and the Catholic nature of the education experience at Georgetown. It was the Jesuits that always drove you to make yourself a better person, to think more clearly and with greater depth, and, and that's uh, something that has stuck with us. Our hope is that their generosity will inspire other benefactors of Georgetown to contribute, to join them as partners in the renovation of this chapel. And I can't think of a better place to show generosity uh, than this. What I hope the members of the greater Georgetown University community see is the promise and possibility that emerges when an individual who has a passion finds a way to connect that passion to the ambitions of the university. At Dahlgren Chapel, we speak of the good news, but we also remind our students that good news has got to be lived out. And what the Roonies have done here is to live out the good news, to give what they have for the good of others. And just when we needed someone most, Francis and Kathleen came forward and gave us this gift. And it was as if prayers were answered so that for generations to come, this will remain a place at the very heart of everything we are as a university community.